हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ए पेंटिंग विच वॉज डन बाय फ्रेडरिक सूरो द फ्रेंच आर्टिस्ट हु विजुअलाइज द नेशंस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड थ्रू दिस स्टैचू ऑफ लिबर्टी In 1848 Frederick Suro the French artist he made a series of paintings and in this he visualized his dream the transformation of the world from absolutism to a democracy the people's rule and in his first painting he classified the people moving from absolute power from monarchy towards liberty towards attaining rights and this freedom he personified in this image called as statue of liberty the statue of liberty is placed here and we had a long train like people marching people of all ages men women everyone holding a tricolor flag and they are marching towards the statue of liberty to pay homage to pay respect for this female figure and they wanted an enlightenment from darkness towards the enlightenment from ignorance towards rights from uh, a subjugation towards freedom and they are marching with this new enlightenment where the symbols of absolutism symbols of the monarchy will be shattered this is suro's utopian vision utopian vision is one which is not existing in real but it is imagination it is an idealistic society which is a very very good virtue and which may exist he wants to foresee the nations transforming themselves with rights with liberty with a development with modernity and all here we can see the nations of the world and they are led by united states switzerland and they all have become nation states ones which were ruled by the colonial masters they have attained now freedom they have shared a common history they have same culture they have struggled for freedom today they have their government entrusting them the rights and the liberty this is a culmination of long past they share the same endeavors they have sacrificed for the nation and in this image he describes the he describes the nation so holding the tricolor and marching towards the statue of liberty who is holding a torch the torch is a symbol which is showing light towards a beckoning light towards some new future a new era and in the other hand she is holding the charter the charter is a book of rights which will give them liberty and in the heavens above jesus christ and the angels are gazing at this people in astonishment they are surprised to see that these people are marching towards the statue of liberty and at the foot of the statue we see the broken remains the shattered remains of the monarchy the monarchy is destroyed and people are having a new life expectations for new life new enthusiasm a new beginning for themselves 
This is the vision of uh, Frederick Suro, and he has the presented the concept of a modern state which has sovereignty, the supreme power which is entrusted in the hands of the people, and their struggles. They have now emerged with a tricolor, a symbol, the flag which is held high, that is replacing. the royal flag the king's flag is now removed in its place the tricolor flag which is their unity the symbol of their unity where every common man irrespective of men women they all are marching with an expectation and that to liberty that to freedom is personified by this female figure the statue of liberty several years ago in the year 1848 the visualization of frederick suro is this painting the statue of liberty to unify numerous people who are speaking a common language many king many kingdoms many countries which marched along with usa where the kingdom of two sicilies people of austria lombardy poland england ireland hungary russia and many more all these are marching these people are marching with the hope of freedom with the hope of liberty I hope the concept of Frederick Suro's interpretation of the Statue of Liberty is clear. Thank you children.